everybody, it's Greg from Park Journey here. Hope you're all doing all right. As you can see, I am here at Six Flags Magic Mountain for an all-new park update. Uh, lots of uh, stuff going on here at the park. We'll check out the uh, solar panels over the parking. I'm actually uh, heading over there right now. Uh, we'll look at what's going on in the former Golden Bear Theater uh, and just some random things around the park as well. And something we don't do very often, we're gonna look, check out the landscaping in the park. Uh, I, I sent out a, a social media post about the landscaping of the park. It's, the park is looking absolutely gorgeous. I don't think that team gets enough credit, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and give them a nice little shout-out. You see Goliath heading up the hill there. I rode it earlier. Still a super fun ride. Uh, so we'll get right into it, but before I do, make sure you go ahead and click below to subscribe to our channel. As always, greatly appreciated. All right, so here we are approaching the uh, lot two and three where they've been working on the solar panels. So, you know, we've done a, a couple of updates from the uh, exit of Scream, but never really walked the path there. Little uh, Twisted Colossus here for you. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, about half of the second lot is now covered with the roof, or at least the supports there. Get you a little uh, more Twisted Colossus there, up to, to, to the zero G roll. Uh, so as, yeah, so, uh, you can see the, the supports, can't tell if the solar panels are already there. It looks like they probably are on the first set there and then the back set, obviously you can see that nothing there. I'm guessing those boxes there are all of the solar panels. So I'm going to keep walking around to the second part because I did hear that uh, some repaving is going on. So apparently they install all of this stuff first and then they do the repaving, which is if you've visited this park any time in the last, you know, 25 years, uh, you know that a uh, repaving of the lot is something that is very, very, very much needed. So it looks like that is happening. We got all the scissor lifts there uh, to install the panels. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve scissor lifts. Kind of crazy. And it looks like we might actually be getting a duel on. Uh, Twist the Colossus here. So let's uh, let's take a little breather here. See if we can't get some uh, dueling action here on Twist the Colossus. Look at that! How's it's gonna get? Install, zero G. Look at that, what timing. So anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna head back towards the, uh, the third lot here. I'm gonna walk all the way back today, get some more steps in. So as you can see, there are parking people in the second half of the back lot there, or the second lot, excuse me. So I'm going to assume that that'll be where they concentrate on next. Looks like I might have to actually walk around to the other side. Yeah, I don't want to chance it and get yelled at. So I'm going to walk around the back side. So I'll uh, come back and show you once I get around to the third lot there. So I'll get some more steps set. All right, so here we are on the other side. So yeah, you can see panels aren't on that uh, section there. They are on that first section we looked at. And then as we keep walking down towards, so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is the uh, current parking lot. Definitely needs some repaving here. But you can see, yeah, lots of panels installed. More stuff ready to go up, I'm guessing, for this the back half of this. So I'm guessing at some point in the near future, before they start back here on the right side, they will open up this section. Hopefully after the repaving, as I mentioned. So here we are coming up on the backside lot here. So I don't see any repaving yet. Although down at the far end, it looks like they might be... Yeah, actually does. You can kind of smell it a little bit too. So down at the very far end, way down there, 
looks like some paving is going on here. And then you can see here too, on this side, they've got the, I'm gonna call them junction boxes. Uh, obviously, if you're gonna have solar panels, you gotta have a way to power up to you know save the power. So here we, um, each pole there, you've got these boxes here, which I'm assuming are going to store or transmit some of the energy, which is fantastic, definitely needed. Uh, more scissor lifts back there, so wow, that's now what, 14, 15, a lot of scissor lifts. Uh, so this is a rather large project, and then you can see here we've got an earth mover, got more trucks, and then as I mentioned, that truck is in the way now. I'm not gonna, if I can get around to the other side, but uh, it definitely looks like they're doing some paving all the way down at the far end there. So yeah, uh, definitely moving, moving fast. Uh, so hopefully they'll get this done, hopefully before summer. For Hurricane Harbor open so with the speed they're working now I would imagine that at least these first few lots will be open and then they can start working on basically all of this here all right everybody so in the park here we'll take a look at what's going on in the former Golden Bear area some signage has been added since our last update not really anything specific just some clues and it looks like more concrete has been removed from the Golden Bear area as well. And you can very clearly see now Crisanity on the other side of the hill. So just some signs here for season passes. And something about cycling. So uh, definitely um, some you know, thoughts about maybe a motorcycle type coaster. I love like a good family terrain coaster. And then some uh, list of the 2024 events so we can all plan our calendars accordingly. But yeah, I mean, if it is something like a, uh, you know, like a motorbike coaster or something, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, as long as it has a height requirement that makes it more of a family coaster. Um, the park definitely needs more mid-sized coasters that have a height requirement of less than 48 inches. As of right now, the only coaster outside of Bugs Bunny World that has less than a 48 inch height requirement is Ninja, which is 42. Some new trains on Gold Rusher would allow that to hopefully maybe get down to below 48. But yeah, so I, I, I'd be okay with a nice family terrain coaster in this area. I think it would fit with Bugs Bunny well. I know that that would disappoint a lot of people because everyone wants a Giga. Uh, but that's really something that the park is lacking. I don't know if a motorbike coaster would really fit the bill unless there was motorbike seats and then normal uh, seats for, you know, have a lesser height requirement. But we'll see. Typically, Magic Mountain and Six Flags would do their announcements in August, but we'll see what happens. They haven't really followed that in a few years, so we'll stay tuned. Up near Viper, they uh, on our last update, they were doing this, some work on the coaster murals here, still doing some work. Uh, so maybe this is part of the announcement for whatever it is they're bringing in, and it'll be a part of the coaster mural, uh, or it's just maybe standard refurb work, not sure. Speaking of refurb work, uh, Scrambler is currently under refurbishment. Uh, you know, not something that the park promotes, or you'll see a lot, um, but really something that um, is important to the park to maintain these older flat rides. I mean, it's a classic flat ride, uh, so I'm, I'm appreciative that it's getting some love and some off-season work, and it will be back up hopefully in the very near future. Again, one of those uh, really fun kind of in-between rides for uh, families. And then as I mentioned up at the front, I wanted to spend some time just uh, giving a shout out to the Parks Landscape Department. They do a really fantastic job. This is a really hard park to maintain as from a landscape point of view, uh, given that it is technically in the desert. Uh, obviously you've got all of your hills, you've got all of your coasters, which are the priority of the park, but I do really think that they get uh, do a really fantastic job. So I wanted to give them a little shout out. I'm not sure if these are real or fake, I didn't touch them. Uh, but I mean, even just people, you know, running through the flower beds that I saw just a couple times today, uh, you know, just to kind of maintain everything. So um, really just a, a thumbs up and a big kudos to the parks team. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for our Six Flags Magic Mountain update. There's, there's a Colossus Goliath again. 
Uh, so we'll be back probably soon. Although we've got a Florida trip coming up in about a month. So maybe not. I'll try to make one more trip up here uh, before that trip. Uh, just to uh, see what's going on with everything in the park. And obviously if anything gets announced or anything like that, then uh, we will for sure have that for you. All right, take care everybody. We'll talk to you soon.